Welcome to this tutorial. Wish all you are well. Here I am going to discuss about operators in C programming. There are different types of operator: arithmetic operator, assignment operator, relational operator, logical operator, bitwise operator, unary operator, size of operator, conditional operator. I will discuss every one in details with examples. Entering into the discussion, please subscribe. It will grow my interest to prepare more important tutorials. First, I am explaining arithmetic operators. Examples of arithmetic operators are addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulo. For this addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, or modulo, there must have at least two operands. Say for addition, a plus b. Here this plus symbol is the addition operator and a and b these two are operands. So this addition operation will add the value of a and value of b. Now showing the example. So this is the example and here the addition operator this is a plus b. Now a is equal to 6 and b is equal to 5 say here. So a plus b is the addition and the result is stored in x and I am printing the value by using printf operation. So here what will be the answer? Answer should be 6 plus 5 that is 11. Now running the program. See the result here is 11. So similarly subtraction a minus b that will provide the result 1. For multiplication a and b it will provide 36. Now what will be the value when division operator is used? For the case of division operator, say the example here, this is x is equal to a divided by b. Now what will be the result? a is 6 and value of b is 5. So quotient is 1 and remainder is 1. The division operator will provide the result which is quotient. If we run the program, we will get 1 as result. Say here, say the result 1. Now modulo operator, uh, how modulo operator works, what will be the result if this is a modulo b, modulo operator will provide remainder as output. So in this example, 1 is the output, say the result, say here the result is 1. So we have completed all arithmetic operators. Now next assignment operator. These are different assignment operators. Equals to, plus equals to, minus equals to, division equals to, modulo equals to. The first assignment that is equals to already here given a equals to 6. Means the value of a has been assigned as 6. Up, after executing this, the value 6 will be stored into the variable a. Next, plus equal. What is meant by plus equal operator? Example of plus equal operator a plus equal 2. Now what is the meaning of this? The meaning of this is a is equal to a plus 2. Means if we expand this it will be a is equal to a plus 2. We can write a is equal to a plus 2 or we can write a plus equal to 2. Both will provide the same result. So in this case what will be the value of a? The value of a was 6. Now a plus equal to 2 means a is equal to a plus 2 means now the present value is 6 plus 2 that is 8. Now running the program say the output. Say output is 8. Similarly for the case of minus equal to if we use the same example a minus equal to 2 that will be a is equal to a minus 2 so the result will be 4. Similar type of function will be for the case of division equal to or modulo equal to. So this is assignment operator. Next coming to relational operator. The output of this relational operator are always true or false. Means the output is logic 1 or logic 0. Logic 1 means true and logic 0 means false. Now the different relational operators are relational equals to defined by double equals sign. Next one 
not equals to next greater than less than greater equal to less equals to now giving example here say in the example i am using a equal to b this is relational operator what is value of a a is equal to 6 what is value of b b is equal to 5 so whether a is equal to b or not in this case 6 and 5 are not equal so this operation this equals to operation will provide a logic zero result so ultimate output should be zero now see what is the output see here output is zero now not equals to if we put here not equals symbol for better understanding i am taking it into the first bracket now a not is equal to b so 6 and 5 are not equal so this operation will provide logic 1 signal so ultimate output will be logic 1 say the output say here the output is 1 next on greater than if we use greater than operator a greater than b whether it is true or false a is 6 b is 5 no doubt a greater than b is true so the output will be true or 1 say the output say here the output is 1 next less than say a less than b whether this is true or false 6 is less than 5 this is not true so output will be logic 0 say output is logic 0 similarly greater equals to or less equals to will provide the result whether it is logic 0 or logic 1 next coming to logical operator logical operator operates on logic signal logic signal means whether it is 0 or whether it is 1 logical and is double ampersand symbol logical or is double vertical line and this is logical not now giving the example of all this logical operator first one logical and operator say the example is a is equal to b and b not is equal to c this is logical operator it operates on two operand one is a is equal to b another one is b not is equal to c now the first operand which is a is equal to b now whether a and b are equal no so this will provide logic zero signal and for this one b not is equal to c is it true or false yes b is 5 c is equal to 4 so b not is equal to c this will provide logic one signal so here this will provide zero here this will provide one what will be ultimate output of these two combination means it is providing zero and another logic output is one so what will be the ultimate output for AND operation the truth table is the output will be logic 1 when all the inputs will be logic 1 so only in this case we will get output 1 others all others case having output 0 only in last case the output will be logic 1 all other cases output is 0 so what will be output in this case 0 and 1 in this combination output is equal to 0 so here after executing this function ultimate output will be 0 see see here output is 0 next logical or operation I using the similar uh, example and here i am writing i am putting logical or now what will be the output in this case similarly a is equal to b is providing zero logic output b not is equal to c providing one logic output so what will be the ultimate result for the case of oring operation what is the truth table the output is logic one if any one input is logic one only in first combination all inputs are zero so output is zero so this is the truth table for or get so in this case 0 or 1 ultimately this will provide 1 as output see here what is the output say output is logic 1 next example 
logical not operator say i am taking this example this not of this logical output this logical function b not is equal to c provides logic on signal because b is 5 c is equal to 4 so b not is equal to c is true it will provide logic on signal that one will be just inverted as not logical operator has been used then ultimate output is logic false so logic false means zero so here the output will be zero say output is zero next coming on bitwise operator the bitwise operators are and it is symbolized with a single ampersand sign next or this is just a single vertical line next this is xor next this is bitwise complement next left shift next right shift now i am explaining all these bitwise operators one by one for first example bitwise and say the example is a and b where a is 6 b is 5 so what will be ultimate result a is equal to 6 when this will be converted into binary form it will be 0 1 1 0 b is 5 when it is converted into binary format this will be 0 1 0 1 now for AND operation this is bit wise AND so here ending operation will be bit by bit so 0 and 1 the ultimate ending output is 0 on 0 ultimate output is 0 1 on output is 1 and 0 0 ending output is 0 so what is the result in this case 4 in decimal so in this case output will be 4 see the result say output is 4 next coming to or operator taking the example a or b if we do or operation bit by bit 0 and 0 and 1 will give the output 1 on 0 will provide output 1 on 1 will provide output 1 and 0 0 will provide output 0 so ultimately in this case this is 4 plus 2 plus 1 this is 7 in decimal so the output will be 7 say here say the output is 7 next is xor operation so taking the example as a x or b so what should be the output in this case as this is the x or gate i should know the truth table of x or if the inputs are like this the output of x or gate will be logic high only when there will be odd number of logic on in inputs in this case only the second and third combination have odd number of logic one so this combination will provide logic one and this combination will provide logic one all other combinations are zero so this is output of xor gate so in this case if we apply xor what will be the output this will be one zero one will be one on one will be zero and zero zero will be zero so ultimate output is 2 plus 1 3 in decimal so we should get the output 3 here let's check see here output is 3 next bitwise complement complement operator operates on a single operand so taking the example as complement a so what will be the output a is equal to 6 binary form of this is 0 1 1 0 so complement of this will be 1 0 0 1 9 in decimal now in this C programming compiler provides output in two's complement format so we should know what is two's complement two's complement of any number is equal to minus of one's complement plus one the two's complement of this 9 will be first we have to find ones complement of this 0 1 1 0 1 will be added with this 
so this is on 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 zero so this is equivalent to seven so ultimate answer is minus seven so beta is complement of a where a is equal to six ultimately provide the result minus seven see here say the output is minus seven this is proper procedure how bitwise complement works means it will be complemented and the result will be in two's complement format now easily we can produce the output how whatever the procedure i just explained might be summarized like this bitwise complement of any number is equal to minus of that number plus one see here the value of a was six so the answer is minus seven this answer will come by following this procedure but easily we can get the answer if we remember this instead of a is equal to six if the value is 10 what should be the beta is complement the beta is complement value should be minus 11 see the result see here it is minus 11 now coming to shifting bitwise operator there are two types of shifting bitwise operator one is left shift another one is right shift left shift operation or right shift operation may be written like this say a right shift by any digit 2 means value of a will be shifted 2 bit in rightward direction this digit will indicate how many bits or how many position the bits will be shifted I am taking the example a right shifted by 2 bits say so what will be the result value of a is equal to 10 and when it will be represented in binary form the value will be 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 in 8 bit form now here example is a right shifted 2 bits of a will be right shifted by two position this msb will come here the next bit will come here the next zero will come here the next zero will come here next one will come here next zero will come here next this will come here this will come here now this is out of eight bit so this will be cancelled here two position will be in backend so these two will be filled up by zero so ultimately what is result zero 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 on zero so the value is two say the result is two or not say the output is two now if we use the same example for the case of left shifting a left shift two means all the digit in a will be left shifted by two position all the bits will be left shifted by two two position so similarly this zero will come at this position this one will come here this zero will come here this one will come here this zero will come here this zero will come here the rest zero is out from this eight bit position this two position is back end position all the back end position will be filled up by zero so what is the result here this will be 40 see the result is 40 or not say here the result is 40 so i have covered arithmetic operator assignment operator relational operator logical operator and bitwise operator the unary operator size of operator and conditional operator i will discuss in next tutorial please subscribe put your comments and queries in comment section